Let's talk about hard drives. Hard drives are some of the key pieces of equipment for an editor. I'm just gonna run through what, why, and how I use the drives that I use, and then hopefully some of this information is helpful for you when choosing a drive for your work. We have solid state drives, SSDs, and we have hard disk drives, HDDs. The two most important differences between these drives is speed and storage. I myself, along with some other editors I know, prefer to work off of an SSD and then use the HDD as the backup for footage and assets. Every time I finish a shoot, the first thing that I do is back up all my footage and assets onto multiple drives. In a perfect world, I would have three drives to do this with, one to work off of and two as backups. But in reality, I tend to use two, one SSD to work off of and one HDD that just sits and keeps the footage safe. The SSDs that I get are usually between two and four terabytes, depending on how large my files are estimated to be. The HDD I get can be anywhere between four and 20 terabytes. For a beginner, 20 terabytes is a lot, but at some point you may have a project that's so big you're gonna need 20 terabytes over the span of however many months you're shooting. Backing up is incredibly important because if you have everything on one working drive and something happens while you're editing and the drive just stops working, knock on wood, hope that never happens. But if it does, you're gonna really wish that you did have that backup. So make sure you at least have your SSD that you work off of and an HDD, whatever size that is for your project. The speed of your drive that you're working off of is actually super important because it is gonna play a factor into the speed of your workflow. First being that when you offload from your camera card onto an SSD, the process will typically be much quicker than if you were offloading directly to an HDD. A faster speed means quicker file imports and exports, smoother playback of 4K footage, and overall reduced lag in your editing software, which all play a factor in you getting your edit done in a timely manner. When I first started out, I was solely editing off of HDDs, and now that I've switched over to an SSD, it has been the best move that I've made. And now that you have the info, let me run you through my workflow and what that actually looks like when I get home and start offloading. I grab my SSD and HDD, plug my camera card into my computer, along with my audio SD card. I then organize my folders and drag all of the footage and audio files onto my SSD. Now, since this is my working drive, I create a folder called Project Files, and this is where I'll store my Premiere or DaVinci project file that I'm gonna be editing in. Once this is all good to go, I'll take my camera and audio cards out. I purposely did not format my cards yet because I like to make sure those are safe somewhere on the side while I have both of these drives plugged in. So now I'll plug the HDD in and drag and drop the files from the SSD to the HDD. Once this is done, I unplug the HDD and I store it somewhere safe. Now create your project in whatever software you prefer and start editing using just the SSD. Now, before I let you go, these are the brands of SSDs and HDDs that I prefer to use. This is just my personal preference. I've had good experiences with them, but that's it. This is not sponsored. SSDs, I recently started using the SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD. Its speed is about a thousand megabytes per second and it's pretty light and durable. I still use the Samsung T7 Shield SSDs as their speed is also a thousand megabytes per second and is also durable. I haven't really noticed a difference between the two, I've just used both. HDDs, I've always stuck with Seagate and I found them to be super reliable. These are larger in size. I usually go with a five terabyte that lasts a while. I also have an 18 terabyte for some other project backups. Hopefully some of this information has been helpful. If you're interested in these drives, they're all linked down below. If you have any questions about drives, SSDs, whatever, backup process, drop it down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below and I'll see you next time with another video.